All right, what I'm gonna do is reassemble this motor back into the uh, refrigerator. With all being said, this has been dried and cooled off. So we kind of tilt like this, reattach this motor, which is a little bit difficult, but that's how I got it out. So we're gonna reattach it through the pin here. Push it back up. Okay. Just push it right back in. Align it with where the screw holes are. And then put the screws back in. Okay, so once it's aligned with the holes, you want to put the screws back in. One at a time. Don't over screw it. Just gently put two screws, one there, one down here. Okay. There should be one on the upper left, which is right back here. And you can see it. it. Should be back there on the top. Alright. So this one is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. All right, so we we'll put three screws back on there. The next part of the video is reassemble this box. And this is the ice maker box. So we want to put it back exactly how we got it out. So you got to feed this cable here, which is back here uh, where the motor is. You want to feed that in. So pull it in. And you slide it right in and make sure this cable on top goes into the upper hole here. Okay? And then you don't want any cables stuck right there, so you want to smoothly fit in. And in order to keep this from falling down, you need to put a screw here, a screw here, and a screw to the side. So there's three screws, one, two, and three. And make sure this is down, this there, and this is where the water hole is aligned with the hole on the refrigerator. So that's it. So next part of the video is to add this tray, ice maker tray back in here. And see there's two, there are four holes on here. And if you look in the box, there are four uh, screws that hang down. Basically, you just slide in, okay? You basically just want to slide them in and they're back there it's kind of hard to see but uh you just slide them in like that okay and then you connect these pins there's a six pin here very easy to do plug it in and this is a nine pin so you just plug it right back in here and snap okay and that should do for this part this video is to install this ice tray and it's kind of it's not difficult but basically what you want to do is make sure that this wire lay right on top of this and fit it in between these gaps so that it doesn't get in the way all right so i'm gonna fit everything in properly and may have to put a zip tie in if possible but uh, that's basically it uh, once you do this, put that in properly, and you can snap these in. One is a six pin, one is a nine pin, um, which both should work properly. Okay, this is a nine pin, this is six pin, so that's it. All right, we're gonna put this tray back in here, and the way this goes is these two hinges has to go onto the the uh, ice maker that's laying up there. And you want to make sure all the wiring goes in here so it doesn't interfere with anything. So it kind of slide it in there and then it fits right there. And this screw goes right up here. Okay? And just put the screw right back on there. All right. After you put the screw back on, this is how the box should look. Okay? And we'll, everything is on the control. Everything is hooked up properly. One more thing is to put this cover on. Um, this cover should go on like this, 
let me see where it goes. All right. Okay, it should fit on like that. And there's one screw on the bottom here and one screw on the side. Okay, and we all set. Once we put all that in and we all good. And this is the last part. So after everything is, is done, screw in properly. You should slide in. Everything should fit properly, okay? Um, slide it in. There should not be any gap and if there is, you want to check okay all right now that's done we're gonna close it and we're gonna turn it back on so focus on here what you want to do is you want to press hit the set button press and hold and stop blinking voila everything's back on okay it's preset to a certain temperature so but if you want to make some changes you can press and hold and it should change Okay. Hold on. Hit the option. There you go. You should be able to make changes over here. All right. On and off. Or you can scroll it down, up and down. Certain display, certain temperature. Okay. And that's also the same place where you hit the power button, turn it off. Anyway, we can just exit. Done.